Enhancing your online discussions with a video or other multimedia element is pretty easy. First, you'll want to, of course, create a folder in your destination class for your online discussion, and you will want to locate a video on YouTube. So I've located my video, and I'm just going to pause it. So you can embed the video just using the URL and copying this from the top of the page. I will show you what that looks like. I do believe it's worth it to take one additional step, and instead of embedding just by using the link at the top of the page, I always prefer to use the embed code so I cannot have suggested next videos pop up at the end of my video. You have no control over what YouTube decides is related content, and so I found it's better just to not show that content at all. So if you scroll beneath the video, you will see a share link, and if you select the share link, again the URL will pop up as an option for you to use when linking. However, if you choose the embed tab, you'll have some additional options. I'm going to choose show more to show these advanced options. This is the option I want to deselect the show suggested videos when the video finishes. So I will deselect that. I can also adjust the size right here if I'd like to, but I will probably just do that in Schoology if it looks too large. And so once I have unchecked the show suggested videos box, I just need to click once in this box where the embed code is, and I can do control A to select it all, or you could simply highlight from this first to the last caret. I'm going to do a control A to select it all, and then right click to copy it. Now I need to go back over to my destination class, and I'm going to put it inside my unit one folder. So now I simply need to create an online discussion like I always had by using the add materials button and choosing add discussion. Give your discussion a title. And then in the description box, this is where you can type the question or questions your students will respond to. Now I need to embed my video. So I'm going to use the insert content button and select media, which is right next to image, image slash media. My media is already on the web, so I'll select that option. And it is not an image, it is media. So I'll use this option. This is where I can, again, paste in that link to the video that's at the top of the page. If I do the link, then I will get suggested videos at the end of the video. I'm going to paste in the embed code that I have copied. I'm going to right click and choose paste. And I'll choose insert media. I can see that something has been added to my description box. And to really see what it looks like, I'll need to click create. So at this point, you just need to decide if you're going to assign a due date and put one in if so, and decide if you're going to enable grading and how many points the discussion will be worth. Once you have decided all of those elements, choose Create. And to view your discussion as students do, just choose the title of the discussion. You'll see your question and you will see your video. Now I will fast forward to the end of this video so we can see what happens when it ends. So when this video ends, it simply goes black and then goes back to the beginning thumbnail of the video because I deselected that option for related videos to show. On the previous page, I embedded a same video. And in this case, I used that link at the top of the page. So I'll show you how it looks different when this one ends. So when this video ends, YouTube serves up a list of possible related videos. And while these particular ones appear fairly benign, sometimes you'll get some unexpected surprises here. So instead of having that unexpected surprise, take just that extra step to scroll beneath the video and use those embedding options to deselect that option and you won't get any surprises with embedded videos in your class.